In this video tutorial on concurrent modeling, I will show you how Lemon Tree easily handles merging models and resolving potential conflicts between your working copy and a model stored in SVN repository. What is a concurrent modeling anyway? Let me give you an example. It all starts with the first version of a model stored in a version controlled repository. Bob checks out the first version at 8.30 am and starts making changes to the model. Jane checks out the first version a bit later at 9 am. Then we'll make several changes and we'll check the model back in at 11.30 while Bob is still working on his own version of the model. Then Bob checks in his version to the repository at 12.50 pm. What happens next is that the changes made by Bob and James over the time must be merged. And this can cause conflicts. I've prepared two scenarios which most likely happen while committing a model back to the SVN repository. The first scenario demonstrates a situation when two modelers were working in parallel but on different parts of the model. Therefore, there is no potential risk of conflicts while merging. In the second case though, we will have two models having changes made to the same model elements. Let's see how Lemon Tree can handle this situation. In our first case scenario, where there are two model versions with no conflict occurrence, Lemon Tree will merge them automatically with no need to be involved to the process. Unlike the first scenario, the second where we have two models with changes made to the same model elements, Lemon Tree will call for your assistance as this cannot be resolved automatically. You have to make the final decision about which elements will be part of the new revision and which will be left behind. The particular conflicts are highlighted in dark red color. Using one of the filtering features of impacted elements mentioned in previous tutorial, you filter out elements in a conflict. Selecting the element will automatically navigate to the element location in the models. Remember, mine on the right, theirs on the left. Where there you can see the details regarding the element in both models. Are you ready to resolve the conflict? You have two options how to do that. You can either go through each element separately and choose which one either mine or theirs will appear in the final version, or to take all mine or all theirs changes to become a part of the new revision. All your decisions are reflected in the structure of the merge model in very right section, where you can see a preview of the model revision after merge. After you go through all the conflicts, you simply click Start Merge button and Lemon Tree will automatically merge and commit the EAP file to the repository for you. The beauty of this is that Lemon Tree will also add a message to the merged EAP file as well. The message contains information about the modification and conflict resolution. You see, Lemon Tree really is the very cure for the pain of concurrent modeling. The next tutorial of this series will show you how to review the changes to the model. If you find this tool helpful, don't hesitate to request a test version or feel free to schedule a web demo with us.